go to the office. Now it's Johnny has a handgun. He had gum. Now a handgun. Blatant. Some of the laws that are trying to pass are concerning marriage. Blatantly against Scripture. The fear of God. It's gone in, in the United States. Now I'm not preaching doom and gloom about the United States. I pray for the United States. I pray for repentance. Repentance can change things. I mean, that's what's needed. But that's where the church needs to take the rightful place. To be lights in this world. Are you a light for Jesus? Or are you put a bushel over your light? What's in your heart? What motivates you? Are your motivations right? Um, while we're back here in the Old Testament, let's look at Proverbs chapter 6. God is a God of love, isn't He? Did you know that God hates things too? Did you, did you ever think that? That God could hate something? Verse 16, chapter 6. These six things does the Lord, what? Hey. Does anyone have another version that uses a different word? What's that? A poor? Anybody got a, a New King James that still say hate? Hate. 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 Okay. No other different word there that anyone's reading right now. It's all hate, right? Okay. All right. These are important. God hates something. It's important. You know, if you get married, and, or you're going to get married, and your, your spouse-to-be says, I just want to let you know, there's, I love you, but there's... Two things that I hate. I will not put up with these two things. But we'll talk about them later. <laughs> no, you've got to know what they are. Do you know what pushes your spouse's buttons? Your parents' buttons? What they really can't stand? Well, we need to know what God doesn't like. <clears throat> what God hates. He says... Seven are an abomination to him. Abomination is a strong word, isn't it? All right, the first one. What is it? Proud look. Proud, proud look. You know, I, I, in the prophecy this morning, I heard about uh, lofty eyes looking down mm -hmm. and judging not others. You know, a proud look is basically where we say, I've arrived in this area, and now I'm an authority. And it's always looking down. Well, you know what? When we, when we judge people in the wrong way, now there's times to judge people. There are times. If, you're, if, 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 the, if your daughter's going out with a boy and he comes to the door and he's uh, maybe driving a Harley, forgive those who have the Harley, <laughs> he, he's, he's filled with tattoos, he's got spiked hair. If you have a tattoo or spiked hair, forgive me. Uh, I want to be politically correct here. You might, have, you might be doing some judging. I and mean, he comes up and knocks on the door and says, where's your girl? You might start doing some judging, right? But this is not the kind of judging. And you know, judge, the word judge has many different words. One is discern. Discernment is like judgment. Um, but a proud look, God doesn't like it. When we look at others and say, ah... What could God do with that person? There, 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 there's no hope for that person. That's a proud look. What about you? Was there hope for you? You were just as lost as that person. When, when, when we look down on others like that, that's called gutter snobbery. Because we're both in the gutter. And we're looking down on the other person in the gutter. Right? Next one. A lying tongue. God hates lying. Oh, brother Dan, what about, let's get into ethics here. What about this, when, when that person asked me, does this dress flatter me or not? 
You know, I'm not even going to touch that. <laughs> you and God decide that one. <laughs> um, hands that shed innocent blood. God does not like hands that, that take life. I mean all life. If you're a person that likes to take worms and just start chopping them up, that's wrong. How about mosquitoes? Who, gave, who gives life? <laughs> mosquitoes, yes. <laughs> because they're disease-causing infestations. Who gives life? God gives life. Right? Now, you've got to discern all this message here. <laughs> if you've got a poisonous snake in your house, Barbara, and you want to chop it in half with a shovel, God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. But well, no, but that's not what we're talking about, though. We're talking about what's in the heart. What's the, what's the purpose? When I smash a mosquito, it's not because I love to see him smash. Even though sometimes I do pull their wings off. Forgive me. <laughs> but there's another proverb that says about a righteous man cares for the life of his beast. Another one says that a righteous man takes what he shoots in hunting. Remember that, that time out by your house of those guys killing those birds and just letting them fall in the bay? Remember that, Keith? And you and I rode out there. <laughs> here I am rowing the boat, and here's Keith. We're going to confront these guys. They have guns. <laughs> I have two oars. <laughs> Anyways. I think the next day your mailbox was destroyed, right? <laughs> but they were just shooting ducks and just letting them fall in the water. God doesn't like that. Innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked imaginations. There's the heart. God doesn't like it when the heart sits around thinking about uh, evil. Thinking about how you can get back at somebody. Thinking about revenge. <laughs> God doesn't like that. He hates it. He says, feet that swift and running to mischief. A false witness that speaks lies. Here's where your lies affect other people too. And he that sows discord among the brethren. God doesn't like that. You know, think about you have something that's in accord, right? They were in the upper room in one accord. This is discord. They were in harmony and agreement. Discord is... You ever, have you ever heard somebody pluck... Uh, a, I think they call them dissonant? Is that right, Kate? Dissonant. Like a dissonant sound? Yeah. Where it just doesn't sound right. It just... You know, two strings together just don't have that good sound. This kind of makes you want to... You know, where, whereas uh, something that's a chord, it's a beautiful chord. You know, it's beautiful, right? It's... it's it's, it's lovely, like we're playing the piano. And, but, so discord. Well, you know what? When you look at all of these, all of these come from a heart that's got problems. Right? That's where they come from. It's a heart. So, we need to continually examine our heart. Um, and I, wanna, I think I'm going to stop there today because I want to give some time to get the grill going and such. There are other priorities today. Um, right now, the weather looks pretty decent. So I think it's okay to set up tables and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, could we get some, some helpers doing some of that? I, I have something I need to do at, right after church. And let's just, let's all, let's, how about we all, for those who are able, let's pitch in. That way, that few, that little crew that always does everything, is not burdened with it, okay? What's that? And clean up too, that's right. If we all do it together, many hands make light work, right? Amen. We can get it done. Um, Brother Clay, would you pray?